Their goal is to destroy their churches. And now you see all kinds of unholy traffic. And they also destroy their doctrines because they don't want them to protest against them because they understand that according to Revelation chapter 13, whenever they enforce their sun worship day, notice they are pagan sun worship day, people's going to protest against Christians. So now they're telling them that the church is going to be caught up to heaven and then somebody else is going to go through tribulation. But Paul says, Yea, whosoever shall live in godly shall suffer persecution. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, notice in Daniel chapter 3, when they throw them in the fire furnace, you know what happened? God saved them. And according to Daniel chapter 6, King Darius, when they throw Daniel in the lion's den, God saved Daniel. God help us to understand that he has the power to stop pain and he's in control. And according to Daniel chapter 12 verse 1, Bible says God's people shall be delivered. Notice, in the time of trouble such as never was. So you don't have to fear mankind. Do not accept that satanic doctrine or gospel so to speak. It's coming from the Jesuit, the Vatican. You eating Catholic doctrine. That's what you are eating. That's why, and again, Revelation chapter 17, the Bible called this power, the whore, the mother of harlot. Means if this power is a mother, notice, that means that this power has a daughter. It's a Sunday churches that they accept their son worship day that's why it is sunday and you know watch even the spellings you find out that's what it is so friends jesus christ is coming whether you go to church or not friends take a stand now saturday is the biblical day the sabbath because god knows that in the end the devil is going to make a lot of people forget the day it's the holy day that they prove that he's the one who created heaven and the earth Friends, that's why he began by saying, remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Oh, friends, isn't that sad? Said Jesus, why you call me Lord, Lord, and do not the thing which I says? Says Jesus, these people confess me with their mouth, but their heart is far from me. Friends, Bible also help you to understand that Saturday is the Sabbath. One of the ways that you can find it is to read the book Luke chapter 23 verses 50 to 56 and also Luke chapter 24 verses 1 to 3. In order for you to understand, you have to know that the Bible says all things was made by Him. So Jesus Christ created this world six days and the seventh day He rested according to Genesis chapter 2 verses 1 to 3. And then when Adam and Eve, they sinned, notice redemption, He came and He died for us. And Friday, notice, Friday on the cross, Jesus Christ, he says, it is finished. And then he rested on the Sabbath day. Notice, when the sun was going down, Friday evening, they buried Jesus Christ. So, the early day in the morning, notice, according to Luke chapter 24, verses 1 to 3. Jesus Christ rose on Sunday. So Jesus Christ kept the Sabbath after the creation. And he kept the Sabbath after redemption. So it's a beautiful thing if you understand. That's what biblical Sabbath is all about. And now look how they're uniting their churches. Notice Sunday churches to so-called the mother of the church. They are ecumenical unity. According to ecumenical protocol, the Eastern Orthodox would be 
first in order as they are, of course, first in priority in the Catholic Church's ecumenical responsibility. The legate and ecumenical officer of the Eastern Diocese of the Armenian Church in America and president of the National Council of Churches in the United States. May I present Reverend Dr. Donald McCoy, representing the presiding Bishop Mark Hansen of the Evangelical Lutheran Church in America. Reverend, may I present Bishop Jeremiah J. Park, Bishop of the New York Annual Conference of the United Methodist Church. Your Holiness, may I present Reverend Wesley Granberg Michelson, the General Secretary of the Reformed Church in America. Your Holiness, may I present Reverend Dr. Clifton Kirkpatrick, the stated clerk of the General Assembly of the Presbyterian Church in the United States. Your Holiness, may I present Reverend Dr. William J. Shaw, President of the National Baptist Convention, United States. Your Holiness, may I present Bishop James Leggett, General Superintendent of the International Pentecost Holiness Church. Your Holiness, may I present Dr. Leith Anderson, President of the National Association of Evangelicals. Your Holiness, may I present Bishop David H. Benke, President of the Atlantic District of the Lutheran Church, Missouri Synod. Your Holiness, may I present Reverend Dr. A.R. Bernard, Sr., President of the Council of Churches of the City of New York. Your Holiness, may I present Elder Bernice King, daughter of the civil rights leaders Martin Luther King, Jr. and Coretta Scott King. Your Holiness, may I present Reverend Jimmy Song Jilin, Executive Director of the Council of Churches of the City of New York. Your Holiness, may I present the Right Reverend Mark Sisk, Bishop of the Episcopal Diocese of New York. Friends, do you understand the language, Your Holiness? And this is how they call this power. He thinks he is God. That's what their teachings is all about, friends. And you also know that when the religious leaders, when they come to meet this power, they weren't black, notice, dark color. They represent the sinners and they represent God. Friends, and now listen to what Bible says. This is the chapter, notice, Second Thessalonians chapter 2. This is the chapter the Protestant Sunday churches, they are forefathers. They used to protest against this power during dark ages and they call them antichrist notice antichrist but now you don't hear from sunday churches anymore because they betray their forefathers let's start from verse 3 notice second thessalonians chapter 2 let no one deceive you by any means for that day will not come unless the falling away comes first and the man of sin is revealed the son of predation who opposes and exalts himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he sit as God in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. Do you not remember that when I was still with you, I told you these things? And now you know what is restraining, that he may be revealed in his own time. Notice what it says in verse 7. For the mystery of lawlessness is already at work, only he who now restraining will do so until he is taken out of the way. And then the lawless one will be revealed whom the Lord will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy with the brightness of his coming. The coming of the lawless one is according to the working of Satan with all power, signs and lying wonders and with all unrighteousness deception among those who perish because they do not receive the love of the truth that they may be saved 